What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I was expecting this article, and I was expecting this outcome, and it's disappointing as it's just another example of the bias that exists not just in Hollywood, but in society when it comes to men's rights and what is fair. And apparently now, the uh, Insider Magazine is laying out the case for Fantastic Beasts is just the start. Johnny De Johnny Depp's career is over, at least according to experts. I don't know necessarily if I agree with that, simply because Johnny Depp has a huge fan base um, uh, and supporters. You know, I support him more so in his push for justice, even than in his acting uh, stuff. But uh, I, for one, hope that uh, I get to one day see him again on the big screen or from my Black Pearl ship. And uh, in between watching things, I've got a super sweet game. Thank you so much to this sponsor, Tennis Clash. This video is sponsored by Tennis Clash, one of the best games I've played in a while. Gameplay feels extremely smooth and fluid, and it features live PvP, matches against players from around the world, an equipment system, and cool RPG elements that will keep you hooked on the game on a daily basis. The best part about it is it's free to play, and the tutorial is extremely short and helpful. I picked up the game really quickly. Remember, there's a link in the description and the pinned comment to pick up Tennis Clash. Click it, and I'll tell you some more. There's all sorts of cool stuff in the game. Just a few of them are, of course, the PvP feature, which lets you climb your way to the top, earn gold and bags with cool in-game rewards by playing real PvP arenas. There are daily and general challenges. Complete them to get cool rewards. You can compete with players all over the world in tournaments with three difficulty levels, Rookie, Junior, and Challenger. What I love about this game is jumping in and playing some tournaments. My nickname in the game is Colt's Dad, so what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click the special link, and you will get 200 gems and 500 gold, and maybe we'll have a tennis match together soon. Beware, I'm pretty dang good. Use the links in the pinned comment down below or in the description to join the game. I'll play with you. You can know me as Colt's dad in that game. Been having a blast just killing some time myself with it. Now, this article from Insider.com. Fantastic Beast is just the start. Johnny Depp's career is over, experts say. Days after losing his case, Johnny Depp's career is over. At least that's what experts are saying. In a 129-page Ruling last week, Judge Andrew Nichol, who is corrupt in my opinion, of the High Court in London, dismissed, of course, the case. Depp's career was already on a downward trend before any of this drama. Depp's first round of fame uh, in the 80s hit 21 Jump Street. He ascended to Hollywood stardom with Tim Burton's cult favorite, Edward Scissorhands, and in 1990, alongside Winona Ryder, his future partner. Over the next few decades, he won acclaim for his roles as a misunderstood brooding loners and anti-heroes in films such as What's Eating Gilbert Grape, Donnie Brasco, and Sleepy Hollow. Since 2003, Depp has perhaps been known best known as his mischievous Captain Jack Sparrow in Disney's popular Pirates of the Caribbean film franchise. Depp was nominated for an Oscar in 2004 for his work in the first film, The Curse of the Black Pearl. And by 2015, the fifth installment of the series, Depp was estimated to be earning about $55 million per film. The Pirates films, thanks to Depp, were a jewel in Disney's box office playbook, and five movies made a combined $4.5 billion worldwide. But over the past few years, Depp has failed to reach similar box office success, with new offerings such as Transcendence, the Lone Ranger and Dark Shadows, directed by Burton, a longtime collaborator, tanked among critics and disappointed at the box office, signaling the public had grown tired of his gothic shtick. While Depp films have earned more than $4 billion domestically over the decades, experts said he might have reached the end of his road. I predict his career may never recover. Niema Ramini, a former uh, prosecutor, told The Insider, Disney has lost interest in Depp for its Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, and I can't imagine any other major studio wanting to work with him. He's going to be the next Harvey. 
Wow. Wow. That is a extraordinarily irresponsible comparison. Days after the case step said he had been asked to resign by Warner Brothers from the Fantastic Beast series, Stacey Jones, the CEO of Hollywood, branded a pop culture influencer and branded content marketing strategy agency in LA, told Insider that while Warner Brothers appeared to move quickly in distancing itself from Depp after the event, the plan to ditch the actor was in fact a very well orchestrated plan, built over time with the lead in to the trial. At first, it seemed the Potterverse would stand by its man and shrug off these claims as another celebrity tabloid rift. In an interview with the Harry Potter fan site, The Leaky Cauldron, in late 2016, shortly after Heard made her statements, David Yates, the Fantastic Beasts director, defended Depp. In this business, it's a weird old business, he said. You're brilliant one week, people are saying odd things the next, you go up and down, no one takes away your pure talent. In a statement posted in our professional blog in 2017, Harry Potter at author J.K. Rowling, the filmmakers and I are not only comfortable sticking with him, but happy to. Uh, now, the reality is, but sorry, now that the extent of Depp's behavior is a matter of public record, he's untouchable. If a brand, filmmaker, or producer employs a celebrity whose name is associated with these type of claims, it's often a sign of acceptance or endorsement. And if the industry suffers... Uh, as the industry suffers during lockdowns, many studios would rather make a safe bet. The reality is Warner Brothers had no choice in the matter to bid farewell to Depp, Jones said. Fantastic Beast is a family film. The and physical and these claims alongside the other claims are non starters for consideration, even when the role is being played by the bad guy. Depp should get out of the defamation lawsuit business while he still has a fragment of a movie career. Though Depp was ousted from Fantastic Beast and had a shot and had only filmed one film scene since filming in September, he will still receive full compensation because of the pay or play clause. While the fact that he still will be making his eight figure fee likely made uh, the pill of being asked or more told to step aside and resign a bit easier to swallow, Jones said that it isn't easy on the ego or finances, especially with the knowledge that it may indeed be the last film for quite some time to come his way. Jones told Insider that the only way forward for Depp would be to admit fault, accept responsibility, and truly begin reform. At no point until then, she said, will Depp's career have a fighting chance of survival. See, this is the frustrating thing. Admit fault for what? Admit fault for what? Having some, you know, take liking to drink a little bit too much. Okay. So who in Hollywood doesn't? I, I don't get it. What do they want him to admit to? I don't believe anything was proven. First of all, the judge in this case made a literal judgment call. There was no hard evidence that he ever raised his hand. Uh, so what is he supposed to admit to? Uh, it goes on to say, but Depp's lawyers have already announced that the actor will file an appeal in London, and he has filed a separate $50 million defamation suit in Virginia over a column, uh, uh, the column she wrote. Now, while Depp was not named in the column, the actor's legal team has said strongly inferred to be about him, and he's continually denied these claims. The, the uh, Ramani told Insider that he thought a second suit was a waste of time for Depp. Depp should get out of the defamation lawsuit business while he still has a fragment of a movie career, he said. The Virginia case is also a loser. Like many celebrity family law cases that do little to show celebrities in a good light, Depp should stick to scripts written by others rather than airing his real-life drama in the courtroom. Harsh, but maybe a, an air of truth to that. Maybe, maybe... There's an air of truth to that because what good is it? Even if he has video evidence exonerating himself when the industry is going to ignore it, the industry is going to just go about their business and continue to um, try and ruin his career. I don't exactly understand what he's supposed to do here. Um, now, the second case is likely to unravel with the same dramatic details. The first but that hasn't deemed to seem to worry Depp and his advisors who are determined to pursue it. His case in the court of public opinion, however, seems to be done so long, Jack Sparrow. I don't know if I agree with this. I just don't think I do. Uh, when you have, you know, over a million signatures 
uh, to have the other person fired? Where, where are the petitions to fire Johnny Depp? If there's so much public outrage, this is just a lie. If there's so much public outrage against Johnny, where is it? Where are the petitions demanding his removal? They pale in comparison to those demanding the removal of his spouse. This is more negative press uh, set to smear Johnny when absolutely nothing's been proven. And this is a sad, sad case of events for both men in Hollywood and the little guy, the man without a $500 million bank account to roll back on. He, think about the power he's had to defend himself and he is still lost. It's a dark day indeed. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.